Derek, I think you kind of already said you liked it. Yeah, uh, yeah, like one, two, three, four, five. There's five characters who have like really, really good character building scenes all throughout this episode. Really solid. Um, okay. Ultimately, it's it's it went slower than I thought it was going to. I thought we were going to be on magical by now, but no Quan. So, yeah. all right, Mikey, what do you think? Did you like this episode? Yeah, I, I think this, this episode is enjoyable. Uh, I I now kind of see where they're going. With it, I don't agree with everything that happened in this episode, but I don't think it's bad. Okay. Um, I thought it was lukewarm. I actually didn't really like the writing, and I'm not saying specifically because of Halo. I'm just, I thought there was a lot of bad writing uh, from a TV perspective. Oh, specific. I thought that, we'll go into it. Uh, but I thought there was some good writing, too. Um, I took notes. Uh, but as of overall, this actually might shock you, Derek. Uh, I actually enjoyed last week's episode more than this week's. Hot take. Yeah, hot take indeed. Um, so I definitely might be in a minority here. I did not enjoy the episode. Uh, but was it garbage? No. Was it trash? No. It's just different. It's very different. It's not what I expected. It's not the direction I thought they'd go. Honestly, I, I don't really know what direction they're going. And I would be in love to be enlightened to think or to see what you guys think of where they're going with this. Um, very, very, very different, though. Than what I thought they would do. Um, why don't we uh, start with? I, I I took some notes. We'll start with um, the first scene. We got John. He's drawing a ring, and then we got Maki. Um, I actually the the first thing I thought of was scary movie of that scene with the little kid. Uh, you know, drawing stuff. I don't know. I just it kind of made me laugh. I'm like, this is kind of like a a parody in a way. It was kind of funny watching Master Chief draw a ring in in a mirror. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's just me, but I, I put I put that there. And then uh, one thing uh, starting off that I will say that I didn't necessarily enjoy is seeing Master Chief back in civilian clothes. I have to understand or I have to accept that like this is a different Master Chief take. You know, um, that's fine. It just it kind of throws me off. I don't know. He's in my mind, the type of person that's always in military uh, clothes. He's always ready for action. He doesn't ever take a break. Um, just a little, little, uh, thing that I noticed. Um, but did you guys find it interesting? Uh, or I guess let's, let's talk about it with the, the scene of Maki and him going out into reach. Um, what were your overall thoughts of that scene? Why don't you go ahead and start Derek? Yeah, it was a cool scene because, like, but honestly, I did not expect Maki to turn face at all. I didn't expect her to, like, pull out her little sword finger thing. I didn't expect her to actually like Chief. Like, I didn't expect that at all. So that was actually a really cool thing to see her walking around in this miracle world she's only ever read or dreamt about. So that was really cool. I really actually liked that quite a bit. And she did a lot for me in terms of, like, I, you know what, maybe we can have you survive and be kind of a prominent character after we deal with the end of this arc here. I think that there's room for her on the show still after this season because of this episode. Pretty good. All right. Uh, Mikey, what did you think about Reach? <clears throat> about Reach? I think Reach looks great. Well, just that scene. That, Th scene. that scene, I think this is the dumbest blind faith humanity ever shown. They allowed a prisoner to just go walk around. I get it. She's with the super soldier. Sure. But even still, she uh, one episode ago, minus the Quan episode, she's a prisoner in a prison. That's pretty nice. But she's still a prisoner. That's my point. It, it's, it was really interesting to see a lot. You're going to hear this a lot this episode. The, the decisions that humanity made. Yep. I agree. That's, that's one of my big takes on this episode too and the poor writing is humanity's dumb they're very dumb um yeah, smarter they're... every episode though <laughs> i'm still ready for the covenant but uh yeah they they you know let maki just walk around i know they're on surveillance and stuff but even to uh <laughs> are they kind of <laughs> sorry no keep going even to a spartan a would, what a spartan would knock her head off like she's just it, a girl but that's my point is even to pair off of mikey a little bit um this the the people that are in charge keys and is it Perengoski that's her name right mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, I get it mixed up with uh, the other one. But um, they know that Master Chief is, um, big air quotes, like, struggling. Like, the, he's sus. On, he's on their radar. And to even allow him to be so close to this mission is very, very odd to me from a military perspective. You know, like, if I was running a country or a military or whatever, and I had anything that was questionable, you know, are you a liability, you wouldn't be involved in this. Um, I understand that, you know, they're connected. I understand that, you know, they might be allowing him because of that reason. But to allow it in the sense that they did and how they showed it in the episode, I thought it was very tacky and very poorly written uh, and just stupid. Um, they had drones. They had guards. Yeah, well... Did they? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I thought it was weird. Um, on yeah, top like, of even that... Even Halsey was like, oh, I watched you fuck. It was crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was weird. We'll, we'll get into that. Only um, on it fits. Like, one... like, complete 1984 situation. Like, humanity's pretty shitty right now. Only getting better by the episode. Keys, really, this episode was like, no. And he's like, not gonna do the evil shit anymore. Yeah, it's nice. Moral it's compass. Good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well... You know, that's that's funny you brought up Keys, uh, because Keys has a quote in this episode that Master Chief is a soldier. He's always on mission. Ooh, that's put, a clue. Did you I listen? Put, yeah. It's a clue? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Like a big... Uh, yeah, I just, I thought that was an interesting quote, because it was, I I kind of felt like the the internet in that comment. You know, like Master Chief. No, he's he's a super. He's always on mission. You know, blah 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 blah. Like, okay, like they're writing that, but like as of how Chief is behaving and stuff, like he's he's not really on mission at this point. He's more curious than anything. He's doing what he wants to do. Um, so I'm asking you now, like at this point in time, maybe not because he's been got his ass busted at the end of the episode, but at the <laughs> beginning or so of this episode. You don't think that Master Chief is still loyal to the UNSC over Maki? I think he's loyal to himself. Really? I don't. I don't think he's loyal really to anyone. But I think himself. he would have stayed with Soren. Uh, I think his main I, mission. No, I'm is saying. To I'm stay saying at this mission. point. I'm saying at this point, especially after two episodes ago when he touched the relic and you know he had the moment with Maki, mm -hmm. like that just cut all strings. He he. He's not playing soldier anymore. He's playing John. You know, like, we're not seeing Master Chief. We're seeing John. This is John. Sure. He he wants to know what's going on. He wants to see where this goes. He still has humanity and interest, for sure. He still has the UNSC and interest. Um, but that's just because that's, like, in his in his whole being. Um, but this, this isn't Master Chief, Petty Officer 117. This is John. Okay. That, to answer your question. Uh, my first... Uh, note that is positive of the episode is the rendering of the planet reach really really well done they did a good job i really liked that from an artistic point of view someone who does renders myself um it looked really good i i, I was really impressed yeah cortana the shadows yeah, the cortana lighting great like yeah. the sets in this tv show are impeccable yeah they're yeah. really really good um okay so <laughs> Talking about military stuff, uh, we get a scene in like the comm room that we've seen a couple times between Parangoski and uh, uh, Keys, and I will just once again echo that this is not military Brad to me. Keys? It's not nah, Captain Keys. Ah, Captain Jake Keys. Keys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll just go Jacob. That way we don't. My man. Keys, so between Jacob and Parangoski, and honestly, Jacob, I loved Jacob in this episode. He's really, really awesome. But I didn't like this scene either uh, because. In this scene specifically, they're talking about like some pretty high, like high class class classified stuff openly in this open room. I'm just, just thinking, okay, oh. like is everyone <clears throat> in on this? Like, does everyone Except know that Spartans. you two were involved with Spartans? Like, you guys are talking really loud right now, um, right in the open. And so, like, I thought that was another dumb thing that uh, didn't necessarily have to happen like that. Um, I don't know if you guys have anything to say on that matter. Ah, nah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we can continue. Um, Out of that scene specifically, I got like Key's moral showing through. Like he's a good guy now. So when he, so for instance, when he says, uh, "Master Cheeks always on mission," when he when he says that, he's a good guy. 
telling the audience, Master Chief is on mission right now. Yes, he might be trying to explore himself a little bit here. That's true. But his loyalty is going to be the humanity at the end of the day. He's not going to, like, team up with Maki at the end of this and be like, oh, yeah, fuck those humans. Sure. <laughs> it's not necessarily the writing, like, of what they said. It's just the location. I thought that was very odd that they were talking about what they were talking about in that room. Um, going into our next step, um, we're going to be jumping around a lot, but uh, we're going to go right into the sex scene. Um, I know this <laughs> oh, nice. I know yes. this uh, blew up the internet. I actually saw this before I saw the episode. I'm like, oh boy. Okay, so yeah, this happened. Um, the first thing I will just say is... Um, oh, beautiful. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to say anything. How about this? Mikey, what did you think about the sex scene? Why don't you uh, go and start? Uh... I'm going to go with the trend of if you don't see it happen on screen, it didn't happen. So I think they just got naked and touched each other and then yeah, fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't even, have sex. Yeah, even that. Yeah, that's fine. What about you, Dave? Uh, it, it's, if, if, if you want oh, more Brian. of like what I think you're looking for, is it, if you haven't caught on by now that this is not the video game, you're, 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 you're blind and deaf and dumb. Yeah, like this is a very human thing. Both of these people, I'd imagine, have never had sex before, or Maki yeah. had way weird alien sex, which is another fanfic for a different yes, TV yeah, show. A violation. Yeah, she was probably like molested. Right. Yeah. I guess so, in this universe, he might not be chemically castrated. So either. now, yeah, now that he has the pellet out of his back, absolutely, I believe the thirty-some-odd-year-old man who finds the one other person who has some scientifical magical connection with him attractive, and they had sex, is one million percent believable. Sure. Is what it what I expected out of the oh, Halo sorry. TV show? Absolutely not. But here we are. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Uh, Derek. Wow. Well. Well, well done by f low 40s, mid 30s individuals to per perpetuate that scene with such emotion and gravitas. Mm. I was smiling the whole time. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. I was excited. It was, it, was a, it, was a good, it was a good thing. Sure. Um, shocker. I didn't like it. Um... And I, I actually, I, 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 re I, I think I feel the exact same sentiment that you shared, Mikey. Um, is it believable? Yeah. I can see why, you know, these people would be interested in each other. I didn't like it because it goes back down to humanity again. Like, these humans are so bad at their job that I don't see this scene ever happening in a military installation that they're in, especially when she's in high security. You would imagine she's being watched at all times, and I, I guess they're just watching them. <laughs> it's part of together. his interrogation. Watch yeah, how are. good he is. They are. Yeah. He's really interrogating her, I guess. Um, you know, really thoroughly making sure she doesn't have anything on her. I'm not. Uh, I'm not, not telling Master Chief nothing. That mm -hmm. dude can do whatever the fuck Master Chief wants to do. Oh, mm -hmm. but I mean, with with even Jacob Keys and Perengoski, um, really not knowing what the next move is really being blind in the fight against the covenant. You think that they would be a lot more invested in monitoring this woman. This woman was with the covenant. This woman speaks covenant. This woman is like the only connection they have to covenant. And they had sex, uh, at big air quotes. They, they got naked and, it was like two kids getting away. I don't know. It's just weird. It was just really strange to me. I thought the writing was weird um, for not like really addressing it. Mm -hmm. um, addressing in the sense of like people knowing what happened other than Halsey. Like that was kind of weird that she was watching, uh, you know, because Cortana's there too, obviously. Um, oh, I don't Cortana. Know. Yeah. It, maybe some hints of jealousy there too. I don't know. You know, she she wants to be human. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. You know, she's she's recognizing really who she is as an individual. Um, I actually really enjoyed Cortana in this episode quite a bit, and um, I know a lot of people don't like the uh, rendition of her kind of being like more skin toned. I thought she looked great. Mm -hmm. I really like I really like Cortana in this series. Um, but uh, yeah, I just I thought. The lack of security, especially throughout this entire episode, 
was just really poor writing. I, it just didn't make sense to me, like how all this was happening without people knowing it was happening. Um, <laughs> and only Halsey's in on it. Uh, now, <laughs> speaking of Halsey, we're going to, uh, I'm talking about uh, the different Halsey, the singer, because that's, uh, that's Maki for me. She looks like Halsey to me. But um, mm -hmm. Maki is going full emperor. <laughs> um, or sorry, not Maki. Uh, yeah, I was going to say Halsey. what? Dr. Halsey. Sorry, because I get them mixed up in my mind. I, I think of Halsey, the singer, and when I look at Maki, but then you have Dr. Halsey. Uh, Dr. Halsey, okay, is going full emperor. Um, Zed. Derek, I'll let you, I'll let you talk. I'll let you start here. Oh my gosh, she's so evil. I, I hate her. I hate her so much. I hate how she treats her daughter. I loved when Captain Keys came in and was like, you're nope. you're evil. <laughs> and like she was like, I'm not evil. I'm going to be a goddess. I am going to save humanity because all of you are stupid. And he went, I'm not stupid. I'm your husband. And she went, no, you're stupid. And like it was so it was such a crazy conversation. And then like with her whole thing of like watching Chief and whatever and trying to manipulate Maki, she had a crazy evil episode again. Again, she's so Machiavellian. It's fucking perfect. I love her as an actress in this show. Yeah, they're really doubling down on the evil side of Dr. Halsey. Uh, now, Mikey, being someone that's read the books and played the video games, what do you think of this direction that they're going with Halsey? Yeah, it's... it's what, what, what do you mean by what do I think? Like, do I like it or hate it? Is well, it yeah, believable? I mean, just tell us how you feel. Yeah, yeah, it's... I. She's a good bad guy. The, the actress is killing it with her acting. I I don't know why we're focusing so much on humanity being the big bad, but I need to watch how they're writing the rest, like the season finale and season two. Uh, if the entire show, like from start to finish, meaning it's done, uh, is about like how evil humanity is, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. Yeah. Um, That's where they got their Sorry, inspiration but... from. But... It's it is very clear that Halsey is the main villain and that humanity are the antagonists here that we can evolve and that we just we result to oh what was the word she used I learned a new vein not vein that's not it anyway that we're that we're just you know we're we're, we're not progressing as a species and that she will do the evil as deemed unethical thing in order to enhance the human species. And do you think she's actually doing that for her, like for humanity, or do you think she's just a giant narcissist? All of the above. I think she believes that she, I, like, I, the line that rubbed me the, the worst or how I interpreted it is, uh, I love humanity. I just hate humans. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, as of what I thought, um, yeah, I don't, I, you know, I think we're on the exact same page, Mikey, uh, humanity being the antagonist um halsey being you know the big bad um and maybe this is just season one i've learned from the last seven episodes not to jump to conclusions i'm gonna wait to see what they do but so far what i've seen them do i'm not really enjoying it i'm really not uh t was it f fun to see spartans you know do order 66 kinda <laughs> yeah like that was that was pretty cool but, you know, the thought that came to my mind is where are all the other Spartans? And she's really going to try to take on the UNSC with two Spartans and Cortana, I guess. Which they would have they really... fucking they would have destroyed everybody. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they probably would have got away with it. My, I'm just saying, like, does she not have more assets to her her name? You know, there's a lot more Spartans that are out there that they've talked about. Uh, but I guess there's only these four on reach. I don't know. Uh, she seems very attached to her work, so I would imagine it's budget is the reason we're not seeing other Spartans, which is fine. Uh, but the fact that like it's kind of being like hush hush, don't like we're not going to talk about it. I thought was weird. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like Halsey being the Emperor Palpatine, uh, it really just felt like Star Wars Order sixty six. You know, we have a clone going, oh, isn't this bad? And the other clones are saying, shut up, stupid. And then, you know, we have the other one that's taken out his chip. I mean, it's literally Star Wars. They, they've taken out chips or they haven't taken out chips and they're going to fight each other. Uh, 
was the fighting between the Spartans cool? Absolutely. That's probably the best part of the episode was Chief taking on two Spartans in armor. Um, Kai's fine, fine too. She had her her scene that I I was actually thinking about you, Derek, the entire time. I'm like, I'm I bet Derek's enjoying the scene with her hanging out with the Marines. Oh, I like that scene it. myself. Um, you know, lifting the war hogs and stuff like that was a fun scene. I I like that stuff. I want to see more of that. I want to see the the interactions between humanity um in this era, and I, we're not really seeing that other than Kai, that scene. Kai is Bay. Yeah, no, I I figured you would say that because I got that feeling that you were <laughs> really enjoying her. Um, and she and she came in. She came in with a fucking Superman punch. She did. The, <laughs> and even and here's the cool thing that is now confirmed. Even with chips, Spartans are capable of ignoring indoctrination and or like <clears throat> grant like orders. It's because Riz dude. didn't shoot uh john so yeah this is great this is all good stuff and and to talk about the uh humans being antagonists i i I think it's pretty clear from the beginning of this season to where we are now that that is the arc at least of if not this season and maybe even part of the next most of this season of the horrible corrupt awful horrible human beings were getting their shit pushed in by the aliens and they were dealing with insurrectionists and they didn't know anything about anything and it took people taking out their chips and becoming the good parts of humanity to actually win this war. I think that's going to be the overall theme where it's like, no, we don't need a weapon of Halo to kill all the aliens. We have diplomacy and the Arbiter. And that's just, I mean, it's just TV show shit. So, yeah. sure. uh, Backing up a little bit, some positive things I wanted to say about the episode as well. Um I really enjoyed them. They didn't have to do it, but they put a phantom in the in one of those scenes with the Spartans, and I think that will come into play next episode. Remember uh, the but covenant? But it looked awesome. <laughs> What's that? No, 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 nothing. I just said remember the covenant. Yeah, they're still and here. Speaking of which, the covenant glassing. Yay! Finally, that we see sick. some shit happen. They they oh, done uh, evil shit. They've killed, was it 10 million, 10 billion, something like that? I don't know. A lot of people died. 17 million. They have the power. Now we know that the Covenant are a threat. Uh, If you didn't already know, if you're not a video game player, like who are all these aliens, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Good. More. They need to do more. They need to show the desperation of humanity. They need to uh, show how the war's really going. Um, And I guess Reach hasn't fallen. Um, that's clear, yeah. So, like, you know, humanity is not against the back of the rope, so to speak, yet. But uh, more, like, I like that. That was that was really good. It looked really good too. Uh, the CGI was phenomenal. Um, I love the protocol this scene. happening. I love this scene so much because Keys was like actually showing urgency. Like, he's never been more uh, Captain Keys than oh, yeah. he is now. Like, ever since that episode five battle. When he had like a, a real life prop blow up in his face, it was awesome. Uh, he's just been on a beautiful arc of like ap- actually becoming Captain Keys worthy to me. Of like, oh shit, okay, you're a cool sure. character. I like you. And in this, he was like, oh no, we're not gonna send forces there. And they're like, but we have to look for survivors or Perangoski, whatever that is. I was like, get the right. fuck out of here. There's no survivors. Did you see that footage? Come on now. Yeah. There's no survivors. They all met. And Keys was like, there's no survivors. We can't do that. And I was like, fucking based Keys. Good job. Well, it's Good it's job. really cool. It's cool there, too, for the core canon people. Because yeah, he says no, I, the, I agree. Um, the because you know, we're seeing that cold protocol is coming into play. And yeah. that's good. I, I, I liked how he's more stoic. And I liked how he. Um is really doing what he needs to do you know and Perangos, he's like oh no we need to save people um uh let's see what else um okay uh we'll we'll jump into um <laughs> so we were talking about the covenant glassing that was really really cool um the the scene here's I, it really comes down with the security for me man like i just i really did not like the security of the unsc <laughs> they are very incompetent and I'll give another example. The scene where uh, Perangoski orders the Marine to arrest um, Maquis, they shock her with a baton, sure, that's fine, whatever. 
But then they immediately don't subdue her. They allow her to get her last words and then touch the relic. Like, no, that's not... You're not professional. Like, that is cringe writing to me that that all happened. And I know it's a TV show. I know, like, this has to happen. But can we not write it a little bit smarter? Did that scene not bug you guys? No. The, 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 no. Like, the very last scene? It's just her, yeah, touching the, the relic. Like, allowing her to even get near that relic um, after being subdued is baffling to me. You would think that they would write it a little bit better, or I don't know. I just, it really rubbed me wrong. Well, they... uh, another thing that rubbed me wrong, uh, not necessarily rubbed me wrong, I'll just, I'll bring up, um, unless you guys want to talk about that scene. I was just going to say, they trust her because they trust Chief. Like, that line is in there specific to... No, and I understand that. I'm saying <sighs> after Parangoski ordered the Marines to subdue her, to uh -huh. arrest her. Uh, yeah, they shock her one with the baton. Uh, yeah, but I mean, there's a couple in that room. They're just standing around. Uh, they shock her with the baton, and then they give her, like, five good seconds to do whatever she wants. And that just is baffling to me. Like, you, you look at any law enforcement, you look at any military police, when you're taking down a target, you take them down. You arrest them. You make sure that they are no longer um, a threat. That alive, they, yes. Uh, alive. Not even alive. I almost said just, it. Just handcuff her. With how dumb humanity is, they, they, they would just The humans her. deserve to lose this war. I'm seriously rooting for the Covenant. I really am. They're really dumb. I don't like them. The the only times I actually enjoy them is uh, Miranda Keys was actually pretty fine in this episode. I didn't mind her scenes at all. I thought it was kind of fun. I was actually thinking that it was going to be a prophet's voice. And I was like, oh, this is going to be really, really cool. No, it was just monkeys, uh, which is whatever. Um, but uh, Jacob Keys was great, too. Uh, but Halsey being like super villain, it's it's fine. I like the Covenant more. I like when the Spartans are in action. That's what I've liked about this show the most. Call it, like, me just a dumb TV watcher, but I don't know. Like, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for Halo. And all this, like, writing, it might not be what I expected it to be. Uh, I just, I don't know. I'm just not really enjoying what I'm seeing, especially in this episode. Um, but at the same time, I am allowing mm -hmm. myself... Uh, the opportunity to wait, because I'm gonna wait. I want I want to continue to watch this this uh, show because I'm going to because I am passionate about Halo. I really do like Halo. I there are things in this show that have been done really well and I really enjoyed. Um, a lot of it comes down to the writing, and I just it just isn't clicking with me the way that I hoped it would. But at the same time, I'm not going to jump to conclusions until I see exactly where they're going. Um, I, I, uh, I think Derek has made the best point throughout all of our, our uh, spoiler discussions that they should have released all of this in one go. A hundred percent. I, I am on board with that um, because there are a lot of people like me uh that are going to be very passionate about this franchise and because it is so different they are going to voice their opinions when in reality uh which is fine like i respect that right but um i'm now trying to take the approach of just waiting to see exactly where they're <clears throat> going before i make a final judgment as of where i'm at right now though like i'm just i'm not really having a good time um it's watchable it's not garbage, but I don't know. I guess I just it's it's below average for me. Okay. Um that's kind of my notes on the episode. We can go a little bit more into detail, but uh why don't we talk about the scene with the chief fight and the Spartans? Um <laughs> what were your guys' thoughts on that? Told y'all like four fucking weeks ago. If, if we're not getting a three on one chief versus other Spartans battle, it's gonna be a tag team. It's gonna be a mixed <laughs> tag team match with Master Chief and Kai versus the still chipped. And it and it happened and it was fucking awesome. They booked it perfectly. 
It was so good. She came in with the Superman punch, and Riz hesitated. The bad guy hesitated, which is a tease that she's going to turn and be loyal to Chief. And when she flips, Vanek's flipping too. It's going to be fucking great. And Kai, all episode, looked amazing and was amazing because, oh my God, she was just lifting people. And they were like, what else can we lift that's heavy? And they found a fucking truck and they put Marines in it. It was so cool. It was so fucking awesome. I really did enjoy that scene too. Yeah, it was a good scene. Um, when that that was happening, I actually was thinking about you again, Derek. Uh, this we might have some wrestling writers in this show because it felt very wrestling to me. Like just like what you were describing, you know, like we have these this tag team fighting Superman punch scene coming in. Uh, Vanek uh, not pulling the trigger. Not Vanek, sorry. Uh, Riz not pulling the trigger. Um, them using you know the environment to their advantage and like that was fun it was it was a fun scene to watch chief got his ass kicked Vanek, uh, you son of a bitch tell me <laughs> why yeah That's what we, um, needed. we needed good old jr in that but yeah it like once again the security of the unsc is atrocious you know they didn't even realize their comms were down until they tried to use the comms that's crazy are your comms down <laughs> oh no my your comms are down is, too my phone's not working I don't, it, it reminded me of the joe rogan bit just, of like when the power goes out they just sat around just i don't know what you do but i just sit and wait because there's someone just, smarter working on it you start yelling he's, yelling he's just like give me your walkie did you put the battery in it? Hello? What channel are you on? We're both on seven. Everyone switched to six. <laughs> okay. They're down. Yeah. The it, comms are down. The writing Someone was Someone has downed our comms. Dun 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 dun. It was weird. <laughs> um, that actually, I'm pinballing, I know, but that reminded me of the scene of, I'm going to call him Simp Boy. I don't know his name. Oh, yeah. No, oh, that was uh, awkward and annoying. <laughs> I, told I told you, you. I told you she would do this. Like, that guy, he has to die horrifically. I like, can't the wait. The fans deserve it, deserve it. We need, like, just a brute to rip him in half. Just, Fincher, uh, no, it's got to be Maki. Um, Fincher had a great <laughs> end, and I want to see this dude. He's the only other dude that I want to see die this season, I think. And maybe the brute. Maybe that brute that fucked up Chief earlier in, in episode oh. five. Those, those are the only other two people I need to see die this I'm going to refer to him as Igor. He's Igor to me from now on. He's just following her around. He's calls his little henchman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He, he is such a simp. But, oh, it's wonderful. Uh, it's just what it is. <laughs> what do you think, Mikey? Yeah, that... Uh... This show is nope. all over the place with its powers. What can or cannot Cortana do? Like the, the first episode shows them shutting off Chief's oxygen to make him pass out. Cortana now has full control that she can control warthogs. Pass them out. Turn off their oxygen. Make them take their helmets or their suits off to make it a more even fight. Have Cortana do literally anything else besides drive a warthog where she's already jamming the comms. I just don't understand what then can and cannot be done. I love the Spartan fighting. I, I don't like the, the sci-fi tech side of this. That Maki yeah. ignites her finger saber in the middle of a public okay. where they're supposedly monitoring and watching her, but I guess the screens went black during that time. She's in there having full-blown conversation with Halsey in her prison cell, and the one <laughs> guy comes in and goes, Who you talking to? Oh, no one guess I'm the crazy guy, and walks out. It's like, just look at the GD cameras. I have cameras at my school. It's 2022. This is supposed to be 200 years in the f future. And uh, no, just assume goodwill. I guess that's gonna live forever. Oh, keep going, blocked man. Them keep out. going. I'll see blocked them out with Miranda's eyeball contact. And absolutely, yeah, Mikey made Mikey made a really good point, and because uh, they are monitoring her, and not only visually, like internally, that's her true. body, her chemistry. When the dog comes up and she gets, I would imagine, distraught. And the little finger blade comes out. You would think Cortana would be like, "Huh, weird." <laughs> she has a little fingernail sword. I thought I'd let you know. 
But no, she gets to just rip it out, and we get to see a really gross scene of uh, finger dismemberment. Uh, Again, I another that testament was, that was cool. to... Yeah, another good testament to fucking... Like, the alternative is, fuck, I'm Doctor Strange, and everything is CGI. I'm just in a green suit, in a green room, in a green screen. Like, whereas this is, like, actual practical effects. That was some fly-type, gross, disgusting body horror. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. But yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed your rant, Mikey, because their, their technology, it's the writing. It, really it works when they the want writing. it to. Ooh. Exactly. New writers in season two, by the way. Are there really? Is, is there new writers? Yay. Good. I hope, well, I hope maybe. they're much better. Yeah. I so it can get way are. worse. Yeah, careful. Yeah. <laughs> it can't get way worse. We'll see. I think the show has a lot of potential. I think... From like like I I've accepted that this is a different version of Halo. Sure, that's fine. I'm enjoying when I see, like when he's when and uh Pablo like he is a fantastic actor. I honestly don't think I'd be rubbed nearly as wrong uh mm. if it wasn't the Master Chief. It's if it was just a too much rubbing. Garden. Yeah, a lot of rubbing. Yeah, a lot <laughs> of rubbing. Um, but you know I just. <laughs> it's it's just i'm not used to seeing john i guess and this is john's story not master chief's story which once again in my mind are two very different people um well, they're even i mean no but yeah show. yeah you know what i mean though um that's why a lot of people are upset you know like we're so used to master chief but like this is john uh different take and it's fine it's it's what it is it's just ah, man i i hope these new writers i'm i'm glad to hear that i hope these new writers really can do something smarter because the writing in this episode i know that you know you said you liked it you thought it was good writing i i i did not think this episode was written well at all i think it had fun moments i think there were fun scenes but like structurally it was a mess to me uh it worked it worked out the way they wanted it to because drama it was a drama driven episode yeah. that did not have to make sense for the sake of drama and that just i don't know i didn't like that i like, just i think they can I do mean, better it's eight up eight episodes in it's been drama for eight episodes at what point do you start believing that you're watching a drama television show at least eight more um yeah, like after after <laughs> one episode of after one episode of like honey boo boo i went oh it's white trash i see I, i'm not i'm not upset that it's drama i'm upset that they're writing dramatic things for dramatic reasons only and they're not writing it smartly but it's a drama no i understand that it's but like it's drama. just you can still write dramas and have it be smart sure I think a lot of it's lazy. I think there's a lot of loopholes. I think there's a lot of plot holes. Right. Yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm not enjoying the drama. The drama's fine. It's oh. it's different. Like I I I really enjoyed Miranda's interactions with uh, her mom in that episode, and I enjoyed Keys, uh, J Captain Keys, with Halsey in this episode. Basically, like what you were saying earlier, Derek, just calling her a terrible person saying you gave up on everyone even your own daughter you know like and this is your thing even though i was a part of this like i've done my part i'm washing my hands clean uh i like that writing that writing's fine it's just how we got from the beginning of this episode to the end i thought was very plot holy and really lazy for the sake of just someone thinking oh you know what would be cool is if we did a dramatic thing where Chief bangs with this chick, and you know they're really into each other, uh, but the UNSC don't know, but Halsey knows, and Cortana knows, and then Cortana betrays Halsey, and it's just I don't know. Like I I think they had this vision, but they didn't execute it well, and that's why this episode I think was below average for me. I I really didn't enjoy it. Hmm. Okay. There are a lot of fun things in this episode, though, too. I, you know, and that's where my rating will go up. Uh, but is there anything else specific you guys want to talk about before we go into final thoughts? 
Mm, oh, Miranda Keys, that bitch in this episode. <laughs> she Star Lords it up. Everything was going to go just fine and dandy. Nothing bad had to happen, but she actually cracked the code oh, at like Thanos. the worst possible time. Yeah. And That's it was drama. just, it just so happened that she came in and went, oh, she's actually super evil. And then she was like, wait, no, I'm not evil anymore. I promise. I'm, I, I bowed to the power of penis now. <laughs> I, <laughs> Oh, it, took, it took one romantic night to change her mind. My that was amazing. Muscles aren't the only that tells enhanced, me baby. all I. Yeah, that as, tells me all I need to know Eric, about Master we're, Chief. We're eight episodes in. This is a Cut drama down. show, as you said, Master Dick. Mm-hmm. You're you're Please. saying how I feel, and I I agree with you. That, like drama, it just it it reminds me of. WB. It reminds me of uh, what was the uh, WB? Was it WB? What am I thinking of? HG, not HG. Um, HGTV. Not yes, HGTV. I'm, I'm HGTV. Of what were they on? Cartoon DLC. Network. No. <laughs> what? What was like all the superhero <laughs> shows on? Sci-fi. No, the other one. Family superheroes, sci-fi. Crap! What was that TV? Anyways, they're all just super off a piece they're of all that. The same. Fancy feet. The Flash, Green <laughs> Arrow, uh, all these TV shows. You know, like they have all these very dramatic shows, and that's that's what this is. It's just a very. It's a CBS show. Oh, UPN. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it was UPN. It was UPN, and then they that's changed what it. Supernatural was on. Yeah, and then they changed it to what it is now. I know what it is. What is it? I don't want to say. I want to know. It's the CW. Nickelodeon. CW. Dang it, Derek. You didn't last long enough. <laughs> CW. This Nickelodeon. This like a very CW episode. We got some CW writers in the show. I think it was better than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was like bad Walking Dead level TV show episode this year, this week. A, I thought it was bad of... supernatural. It was just not done well, and it could have been done better, even with the same plot line. I don't know. I just didn't like how we got there. But uh, any other thoughts that we wanted to talk about before final thoughts? No. Okay. So as the final thoughts go, um, we'll start with you, Derek. You, you uh, overall. Why don't you go ahead and give your rating? <laughs> Say your final uh, thoughts. Again. You know, a million points for Kai. Anything in this episode? <laughs> a million like, out of ten. Hey, we got Derek doing over here. Doing her um fucking not her Coco right in. Encanto. That that strong woman Encanto, but in real life, it was really fucking cool to watch. She was like sitting there, just muscling it out. It was so cool. And then her getting knocked the fuck out, waking up, escaping, oh. coming into Superman Punch Rescue Chief, like, <laughs> like, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold Kai coming down. It was amazing. It was so fucking good. It was like watching wrestling. I loved it a lot. It was 8.9 out of 10. Wow. Okay. Mikey, what'd you think? And there was sex. Come on now. Was there no, sex implied there? Sex. Was we there sex know. there? She doesn't even have a penis. She changed her mind. Why? There was there wasn't you know even why. nudity. She changed her mind because of the master chief. That's that's right. The real master chief. That real that Spartan master, 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 master chief. His his penis. He's back. You you tell Aaron. You tell Aaron if he's in oh. your chat. You tell Aaron. Oh, I that hope the Spartan Laser is in Halo TV series. And it's yeah, I would love to get it. Aaron on this podcast. I, I just let him rant for a half hour. <laughs> you have to shave. Uh, we're, we're, we're taking from Mikey's time, though. Final thoughts, Mikey. Yeah, it a uh, lot. It's just, I, I'm blown away with how dumb humanity is. They. <sighs> I think the only part that I left out of my rant is that they just don't get it when it comes to prisoners slash how to treat people who are being escorted out or pushed out or or, or, or asked to leave. Like, he essentially 
uh, Captain Keys tells Halsey, you gotta leave by 12. Why? You gotta leave now. Here's four Marines. They're gonna escort you to your ship. Your <laughs> ship's gonna take <laughs> off. Bye! <laughs> Keep going, man. Fix that one. So, yeah, I'd say this one is like a... a I mean, I'm bouncing between... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the higher. I, I think this was an enjoyable episode overall. There were a lot of facepalm moments for me, so I'd say it's a seven. Um, a lot of facepalm moments for me. There's a lot of, like, what, like I said before, what, what is Cortana's powers? What, how far can she reach? What can they do? I mean, they're turning off Spartans, everything when they needed to do it, and now they forgot how to do that, so it's because then we couldn't have fight, like, that just... That she whole was aspect. mad, bro. Oh, she, she only was has mad. control of John. She was mad. She was like, "That's what you get." Well, no, no, I'm not doing that. Court, I'm too. I'm a second person inside your head. You can't just I, fuck people. It's I'm weird. not talking. I'm not talking about shutting down like his biological neur neuro center. I'm talking about Cortana is now the the uh, in the UNSC database. Like she is all of their technology. She controls all of it. She even found a way to get out of it. So, and that's how they turned off Chief when he was in the Pelican flying back with Quan. So, if she could also control Warthogs, that's what I'm getting at. I'm not talking about, like, just shutting him down as far as, like, oh, I turned him, I turned off his, uh, what is, what, whatever she says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yep. would have been cool if, like, she would have turned off the air of the Spartans, and then they had mm -hmm. to take their helmets off and gave John that's, a little bit of a fair that's fight. What, that's what I said during my rant. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Just you know what, the, her powers are what the writers need at the time, and yes. and you you just gotta live with that. Yeah. You, you just gotta live with it. Keep going. I did like I, I did I, I did like the the turn by Maki. I did not see that coming either. I thought for sure she was gonna like you know. Well, eventually she turned back, right? But it was because humanity was such a jackass. But I thought she was going to, like, try to keep up the facade. Like, oh, I love you. Yeah, yeah, humanity's so good. And then, oh, psych, I kill a Spartan. I've been the bad guy the whole time. But I guess that's too cliche. I she was going to kill Kai. I was so fucking nervous. I yeah, thought she was going to kill Chief. I thought they were going to do it. No, because Chief's no important. You can't kill him. No, this but, but I still think he's him. the main character here. <laughs> I still if think... they would have killed him, I actually probably would have went bold move and clapped. <laughs> Let's see where it goes. No, because then they'll have a Game of Thrones and they'll resurrect him via flash cloning and here we go. Anyway, no, because yep. then Cortana just takes over his body and when I... he talks, it's Cortana's voice, but it's still Pablo. I <laughs> left the episode <laughs> excited to see what the season finale is going to be. Okay. Can't wait for next um, week. I, I feel the exact same way you do, but I'm not as forgiving. Um, I think that this episode was below average. Uh, I think there were a lot of problems, especially with the writing. Uh, the plot was fine. It's what it is. It's TV. It's drama. Sure. But just how we got to from point A to point B, I thought was really dumb. I think humanity deserves to lose this war. I cannot wait to see more Covenant show up and just wreck humanity because I'm going to be cheering for them. I really will. The only time I've really <laughs> cheered for humanity is when I've seen the Spartans in action. Uh, other than that, they all deserve to die. Uh, I will take that back if they bring Sergeant Johnson or if they bring in Eddie Buck. Uh, I want to see those two people in this TV show, despite it being a parallel or like a different universe, whatever. I think they're awesome characters that deserve to be in this show. If they're going to do Halo and put this weird skin over this 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 halo skin over whatever they're doing sure um but i think this is a four out of ten i did not enjoy this episode i think there are redeeming things about this episode but like i said below average for me but other than that uh that is our spoiler discussion of episode eight